Okay, comedy or drama? Uh, you know, I, it's interesting you say that. I love drama. And I love comedy, like this. This is comedy, right? <laughs> Background action going, we're talking about stuff. Um, I love comedy, and in fact, I actually, um, my daughter is doing comedies, and so I'm acting in her films. Um, and that's a gift. I mean, that's just a gift. Tell to us be more able about to, films. well, I mean, well, keeping in with your question, okay. I love drama because um, I think that every actor has to be able to stretch and have their range and, Personally, for me, you know, you can only play what you sort of understand, and it's not that you have to live it, but you have to understand it. And at least for me, I loved doing drama. Um, I have a lot of deep feelings about things, and so when I act, I like to give that in my performances. And so I like to have, it's nice to be able to have a place to put it, and I, I just, I mean, I love doing horror films, and. Uh, any type of drama. I would do, you know, um, a, a cop show, a lawyer, you know, TV show, whatever entailed that. And I can make, it's the tone, you know, you have to figure out what the tone is and then play to that. But comedy is what I really enjoy because when you're working on a set and it's, it's a com comedic movie or film, you're enjoying yourself because everyone's laughing. I mean, it's really funny, you know. So the thing about with my daughter is I kind of more encouraged her to do more comedy only because the life is a happier, funnier experience. So she has done these films and, you know, I never expected her to do what pursue, but I always listen to my kids and kind of just go in the direction of what they like to do. So uh, she started doing these films that um, were really funny and she writes, directs, acts and edits her films. Um, and so her name is Olivia De Laurentiis and so you'll hear about her hopefully. Um, and if not, she's still awesome. Um, and she wound up, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get that too, yeah. She's not, that's my husband's name, she's not directly related. Uh, basically the, we're distantly related. So uh, she's not, doesn't have any connections, it wasn't like that. In fact, even with me, I don't, like, I don't try to give her, like, oh, you know, this is a connection to do it. She needs to know what it's like. Does she even like it? Uh, she, need, she writes the scripts, and she's hilarious. I, I think what, a, what it is is that I would never put my child in a situation which they couldn't handle. Mm -hmm. If they want to do it, I'm behind them, like I think any parent would be. They want to support their kids and what they want to do. But... If she's, if she wants to change her mind and become a dentist now, I'd say go, get those teeth cleaned up. Let's go for it. <laughs> you can do it. Um, so this is coming directly from her parents because yeah. that's how her parents were, very supportive, very I got your back. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get my book. My book. Absolutely. This is one of the reasons why I'm I really. Impressed. I, oh, thank you. I, I love my book because I didn't come from a selling place where like, ooh, you know you know, buy this product and see my movies, I, like, whatever. I'm, all I know is that when people see my movies, it brings back memories for them, and when they see, like, it reminds them of their life and their childhood, so, but I did feel that I had something to say about being an actress and growing up and being an actress, and that it doesn't have to be horrible. You can have a, a good life being an actress, but you have to n understand the life and know what you're getting yourself into, mm -hmm. and I think, because it was my passion and not my parents, kind of. I mean, my parents were like, what do we do with this child? I don't know, but she's driving us crazy with dancing on the table and singing. Um, you know, I was just always kind of, a, you know, fun. You know those kids, right? They're running around the park right now, right? They're going, hi, I'm on camera. Um, you know, that's, that's great. You just want to, like, embrace that. And so they were just amazing to listen to me and or maybe too old to fight it off I don't know but they they were like let's just do it so yeah, yeah but so not everybody has that type of a system or a support you know behind them and that's what makes it so unique is that you were able to get all of that with them behind you and still not be an egotistical big-headed you know oh my gosh that's, no, no, that's not you. no, because in my my sense, or maybe the way I was raised, it's it's, you know, the thing that makes you builds you up as a person, 
are the things that you've earned. Mm -hmm. It's the experiences you've gone to. You go to a door, you have to walk through it. Nobody else can walk through it for you. They could say, hey, here's the door, go through it. Go, go. But you're the one who has to go through it. And only by going through the door, and be brave, I would have to say, if you're going to do anything, be brave in life and go through, have as many experiences as you can, go through that door and live your life. And then you will know the answers to the questions. And you know, acting, I was an actress as a child, mm -hmm. um, and but it, when I was when I was little, I wanted to do it, but it didn't. Uh, but it didn't work out right away for me. I, I, like years passed because I, I, an agent didn't pick me up, and so I had to wait. But I still wanted to do it, and because I went after my goal, like I didn't give up on myself. I I didn't listen. Like I guess I didn't have parents who said you can't do this. This is not going to happen. But if I did, I think you have to stay connected to what you want to do in life and then find out what that is. You may not even like it. You know, that's why even with my kids, like when they were little, my, like I got, I got my daughter into acting because she was so bright and the, basically the deal is that you, when your child is really smart, you have to go outside the box. It's just not enough to be inside the little world that, mm -hmm. that you know, community and it creates. You need to say, okay, what can you do? Do you want to try this? So she was like, oh, I'll try some acting. So she started to do acting. And when we would go on these auditions, my son was there and um, he, he has this bright red hair and he's just stunning. And when he's little, you know, people, oh, bring him in. So we started to do acting too. And they both worked. But my whole thing was not that they were going to be actors. My whole thing was, especially having an acting mom, being a mom who acted, I didn't want them to put acting on a pedestal. People, kids, they do that. I, it, whether your parent is or isn't, somewhere, usually in middle school, you suddenly go, oh, I want to be an actor. And you put it way up here when you may not like the lifestyle, you may not like what you have to do to do it, you may not like playing younger or whatever you have to do as an actor for, for who you are. So I wanted them to experience it so they never felt like it was something that they didn't get a chance to do. And um, I teach acting to kids too. So one, so one of the things is, and I have, um, I teach uh, regular students um, in the school, but I also teach uh, private students who go on auditions and have agents and nice. uh, are going up for roles. So for me, whenever I have a, a, a kid, you know, my whole thing is, obviously, what do you want from this? Do you want? fame well you can do anything to have fame you can sell make you know bread and sell it on the internet I mean you can <laughs> there's so many different things you can do to become famous so what is it that you want if you really want to be an actor you're gonna do some things so with my kids they experienced it and then they realized you know I want my own thing I like this but now they know and so sometimes I get parents who say oh I don't want my kids to be an actor then they want to be, they're going to be an actor, okay? <laughs> Tell your kid, I don't want you to be a lawyer. Do not be a lawyer. No, you cannot be a dentist. It's not happening. And then, you know, see. But you, I think every parent needs to figure out what their child is good at and what they want. And then there's so, those are the directions, you know, you can do what you're really, uh, what you want to do. And then sometimes people are gifted. We're gifted at, at many different things. Some, you know, some people can be gifted at socializing and being, you know, personable. And that's a gift. Not everybody can do that. So, uh, you know, some people singing, so it's more obvious. It's a, like a talent, but there's a lot of talents, there's athletic talent, and there's um, speaking talent, you know, public speaking. And so you find out what your child's gift is, and then you go in the direction that their gift is, but also that they want to do it as well. If they don't, then you have to back off and let them explore maybe they'll come back to say you know what that this is what I'm good at and but I think parental support is important, it is important. you know and you have to believe in your kids and trust I think sometimes people think oh my kid doesn't know but they do know and they know at a very early age that's the thing I was kind of surprised kids know at an early age what they want to do and when you tell them no <laughs> you know what why should they kind of listen to you if you're not helping them Mm -hmm. They need to know that you're on their side. The world, they have enough challenges with the world. They need to know that you as a parent are on their side. So I don't know, maybe that's not everybody's philosophy, but it, I, that's, I love my kids. I just, that's my thing, so. This coming from the woman who knows how to make lemonade out of lemons because she would take a no and say, okay, we'll just keep rocking on, and that's what she did.